I'm not really sure why I started chewing a mint right before I started filming. I don't know what to do with it. We'll come back to you later. <laughs> God, that's so bad. Hey guys, sorry if I'm really close up. It's just stick with it. This is how it's gonna be for the video. Okay, so basically this video is going to be a kind of how I pluck my eyebrows, how I do my eyebrows, that kind of stuff, and yeah, so if you know me at all, I like to be pretty polished most of the time, and I don't know what got into me, but in the past month and a half, I just did not pluck my eyebrows. Maybe it's been longer, honestly, but I have not plucked my eyebrows, done my eyebrows, waxed my eyebrows. I haven't done anything to my eyebrows in so long. My eyebrow is like growing down here. It's just, it's a mess. If you have bushy eyebrows, props to you. I wish I had bushy eyebrows. It's just weird that my eyebrows are only dark here and then there's those stray hairs here and then there's none up here. It's just, it only gets bushy in like certain spots. And I'm going to be using my phone flashlight to kind of shine on it, but like, do you see what I mean? Like, it's one thing to have bushy eyebrows, and then it's another thing to have this. Basically, I've just kind of been trying to grow them out, I guess. I have been only really plucking in here just so I don't have a unibrow, because I will grow a unibrow if I don't pluck right there. And basically, I just kind of wanted to have a fresh start with my eyebrows, and I figured waiting like a month would kind of give me the maximum results for how much hair I have left, like how much will grow back if I wait. In middle school, like a lot of young girls do, they pluck their eyebrows away and I'm guilty of that. So obviously up here and stuff, my hair is not really growing back anymore. It's kind of gone and never coming back. But down here, it seems to want to always come back and doesn't care how many times I pluck it, it's just, it's always gonna come back. So, we're gonna get rid of that today. I also have been using this to try to grow them out, also with my eyelashes. It's Jamaican Black Castor Oil. I think this little bottle, it's an eight ounce bottle. I think it was like 10, 15 bucks. I don't know, honestly, Sarah got it, but yeah. So, I just use one of these things. I think I got it, like, took it from Sephora. <laughs> And I just like brush it through my eyebrows at night before I go to bed and through my eyelashes and then I wake up and wash my face and call it good. Let's get into the actual plucking of the eyebrows. This is just kind of how I take care of them. We're gonna finally pluck it away right here and I have I think I've been dreading this because it's gonna hurt. <laughs> oh, I feel like I just kind of have to start. Like there's really, oh. There's like so much hair, it's pulling out like 10 pieces at a time. I don't know if you can see how many hairs are on the tip of this, but oh my god, we're not even part way through and we still got a long way to go. And I don't really remember what the actual shape of my eyebrows was before this. I haven't really looked at pictures of myself, so we're just kind of do gonna do whatever seems to suit me best. And who knows, maybe we're just gonna pluck down here and let this part just grow out some more. Because this is really what I want to grow back. My eyebrows used to be a lot more bushy than this, but as I said earlier, I have done some plucking in my days. <laughs> oh, can you see the redness? I honestly envy people who just have naturally really bushy and nicely shaped eyebrows. Like, you are blessed. I think I'm just gonna keep it like this. Does that look good? Honestly, comment down below and tell me what else I should pluck. I feel like an important part, these are little mini tweezer men, tweezers <laughs> that I got in like middle school. So I've had them for about five years and I just got the mini ones cause they're cheaper, but they work the same. I think we're just gonna... Yeah, does that look fine? I mean, the hair is gone from down here. There's still more full than they were a month or two ago but they're not too out of control anymore so this is just basically how i groom them i'm not gonna show me filling them in because that's just a whole different video and i honestly think i've done that before but this is basically just how i keep them clean 
and not really keep them because they weren't for the past month but I don't know it's just how I make them not too out of hand and yeah um if you have some eyebrow thing that you do that's like magical and makes them grow in places that you wish could grow but won't grow like if you have some sort of magic serum tell me about it because i want it so yeah if you enjoyed this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up i feel like it's pretty straightforward i just wanted to show how i get my eyebrows these are my all natural eyebrows right now i have nothing in them my face is clean just my tip in this video i guess is to don't over pluck i've made that mistake so that's all if you enjoyed go ahead and thumbs up the video and yeah bye